Howdy YouTube and welcome to this episode of the Gum and Raw. So today we have a pretty new BMW X5. This is actually the new shape of BMW X5. So yeah, we're just going to be doing that clear coat stage on it. I don't know, it was just a last minute thought. I thought why not grab the camera and yeah, take you guys through the clear coat stage. I just felt like doing a vid, so let's do a vid. And for whatever reason, this channel seems to be getting more views than my main channel, so hey, I'll do what you guys want, obviously want to watch, so. So it's just the usual stand-up standard clear in the gun, and I've got my Gummit Edition GTI Pro 1.3 TE20. So, because this is a three layer, what I ended up doing is, um, I got the wet on wet, obviously this is a new door, so I got the wet on wet down, I then got the two coats of brown coat, I then put two coats of pearl coat down, and then I hit bake for a full half an hour over my lunch break. So I managed to get all that colour and, and primer down before lunch, and then I gave it a good half hour bake, and then it's been on a cool down cycle, back on spray cycle for another 10 minutes. And here we are clearing it. Personally, I'm more of a Mercedes man myself. I know some people love their BMWs, but I've always been more of a Mercedes lover myself. I think that's a pretty good colour match too. It blended out pretty well across this door. So I actually had a colour card for this. For whatever reason, we actually don't do many uh, BMWs at this workshop. But, but again, for whatever reason, we do actually seem to do quite a few Mercedes. But um, I, did actually, I, I did one of these, it obviously must have been the same colour. I did one of these about uh, probably eight months ago now and every time I do a three layer um, I'll spray it out and keep the colour card and spray it with two pack clear <coughs> and I'll then keep that colour card and then I'll be able to check it next time the colour comes in and I won't have to rematch that colour or I won't even have to check it so yeah, because I've already got the colour sprayed out so that's what I did on this one here saved me from having to do a spray out. That's ready. Because um as I told you before, I actually hit bake. I hit bake um for half an hour over my lunch break. So there must still be a little bit of warmth left in those panels. I'm also using fast hardener, which I usually do just to speed things up. I mean, we're always in a rush in this workshop all year round, man. And to be honest, I kind of love it. I don't mind it at all. I like the fast pace of um, insurance work. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of restoration work. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm used to the insurance work. Like, the jobs just seem to drag on forever, you know what I mean? And by the... I was only telling one of my mates this morning. Um, he's doing a restoration on, it's like a HQ Monaro, and he's really struggling with the lines on the quarter panel. And I was just telling him, man, I said, by the time I'm finished doing a job like that, I don't even want to see a photo of the goddamn car, man, I'm just over it, you know what I mean? Hey, each to their own, mate, if you like doing your wrestling work, more power to you, man. Again, it's one of those things that like, I'm capable of doing it, but I don't know. Working on one car for like a month just gets a bit a bit tedious to me. I just like getting in there, smashing them out, jumping on the next one. Even resprays, like I, I don't mind doing resprays. I just don't want to do it on old cars that are rusted out. And yeah, with all the excess, all the dents that you've got, you've got all that blocking and Nah, give me a nice new car, mate. I'll sand it down with my orbital sander and um, <coughs> give it a respray. 
Yeah, nice kick. Ray's, Ray's all good, but... So yeah, TE20, as I said, and I've actually lowered that pressure down a little bit because um, th these uh, European cars, especially the Mercedes and the BMWs, they've got a little bit of a thicker orange peel. So I found if you, if you go too far on these European vehicles, with this clear coat, you'll get too fine of a finish. That's why I dropped that pressure down a little bit. Got to go in nice and slow. Going for that thicker, thicker peel. It's actually looking nice and clean this job to be honest. With a bit of luck it's not going to go and drop all the gloss out of it. Sometimes that can happen. With these Sando Blue free stages but what I've been doing these days is putting hardener in the ground coat. I tried a few different ways and I tried doing it without the hardener in the ground coat but yeah I just found I was getting a bit of gloss drop. It usually comes out with the buff but I'd rather not have to you know. So yeah I don't know I'm kind of looking forward to um to Christmas. And we're going to have like, I don't know, the best part of two weeks off. A couple of weeks holiday will be good. We have been actually really quite busy here in Western Australia. My thoughts are with the people out there who are struggling to find work and who have suffered pay cuts for whatever reason due to COVID. But um, here we are, man. I haven't seen this place as busy as this for a long time, man. So I mixed up 900 mils, which honestly, my calculations got me to 800. And I just thought, man, I don't want to go and run out of clear halfway through the job. So I did mix up 900, but it's looking like I didn't need it. There's a guy next door who's about to clear his job anyway, so the clear is not going to go to waste. Man, that's killer. That's looking really nice and clean. So one thing I love about this Stando Blue system, man, for, for whatever reason, the job's just effortless. Oh, well, I mean, not effortless. You've still got to put the effort in, I guess, but they just all come out so clean, man. Like the amount of buffing, that's... That will take no more than no more than 10 minutes to buff, man. I can't even see anything. Honestly, man, that's there's one here. You know, that's that's about all it's gonna need, man. Look, you might find one or two after the bake. You might, when you get it out there in the different light, you might find a couple of extra little nibs in it. But that is one hell of a nice clean job. And I'm wrapped with it, man. I'm, I'm glad I did decide to do a video on this because, yeah, this job came out quite nice. So that's the gun there. I think these are actually still available. If they are, I'll check online. If they are, I'll put a link in the description where you can get one of these. Limited edition, gun edition, GTI Pro in turquoise. So let's have a close-up look at this job. Very nice, clean finish and it's got that real original look to it and like it, it really looks like factory paintwork right there got that flare here got the fender here Anyway 
Guys, I'm going to go clean this gun out and jump on the next job. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one there, Gunners. Give it a big thumbs up if you have not already. And until next time, get out there and punch some shit. Woo! Ah!